Hey, race fans. Happy day after day after Christmas. And uh, we're taking a look at the Rolex City Hobart race. The record is not at risk. We're one day, one and a half days into the race. So the record is safe for another year. But the big boats, the mini maxis and the super maxis have had a pretty nice ride since we last checked in. Uh, right now, it's uh, we're a day and uh, one day and 13 hours into the race. And we'll take a look at a few of the things that are going on. First of all, I like to occasionally just check in on the race website and see who's winning. And it is notoriously difficult to come up with an estimated corrected time for um, in a race like this. Boats are so far apart. I mean, the Money Penny's got 159 miles to go. The Comanche's got 70 miles to go, whereas some of these boats have 400 miles to go. So what what they normally do in a situation like this is they extrapolate an uh, a estimated uh elapsed time and come up with an estimated finish time based on some this number here is the key to the whole thing what do you assume the elapsed uh, the speed is of the boat that the boat's going to sail from here to the finish well you, that's just you know the little boat it's assuming in class five the azuro is it's assuming it'll sail 6.5 knots if it does that we'll finish in four days and if all these are correct above it, it'll be the first little boat to be in there. 400 miles is a long ways to go to assess uh, an average speed uh, because they're just extrapolating it prob probably from the most, they have to have some sort of method, maybe the most recent um, pings on the race tracker, what have you, hard to do. Uh, I was hoping to do something in Expedition with this to show you, but We'll save that for another day. So, interestingly, uh, the Mini Max, there's three Mini Maxis, Money Penny Alive, and Erm, all around 70 feet, are correcting out on the big guys. But of course, for line out honors, we've got the uh, Comanche and uh, Lock Connect only a mile apart. Let's have a race, guys. Ooh, slow. And in fact, it's going to get pretty interesting in the next little bit if you happen to be awake right now. So here's their position at the last ping. Um, and we have Comanche doing 16 knots and Law Connect doing 15 knots. I'll get a new one now. Sail, yellow brick tracking, downloading an expedition file. Everything will move forward one little notch. And there's our most recent ping right there. Okay. And, okay, they're still doing 16 and 15. So uh, that's where they are. Not much distance left to go. This is 36 miles, this leg in. Of course, you have to go around the headland. In fact, this is one of the most beautiful legs I've ever sailed. It's the, the, the famous organ pipes. Uh, rock formation on the cliffs that uh, apparently were just pummeled by the artillery during World War II is target practice. It's a shame because they are, they're beautiful. And then all the way up the Derwent River here to the finish line. So uh, we've got, interestingly, here was our routing, GFS and the European and the Axis routing from um, before the start of the race. And it's only 37 miles off, not too bad. And they're pretty correct on what the wind is. If I turn on the most recent wind right now, we can see that they've been sailing in big northeast winds and moving along just fine. I'm going to turn off the routing now. And we'll take a look at the rest of the fleet. We've got some 52. There's the uh, group of... Mini Maxis and Wild Thing, the one, other 100 footer. And then here's a batch of what I call the 52s, boats around that size that have 
they're moving along okay, 9.3. They're not doing 24 knots like these guys. But then if you move, hover up in here, we got some trouble ahead as this low moves out. So let's go, uh, and there's the big picture, the whole fleet, all those black boats there are uh, moving down the coast. So they've got some work to do, especially when we go forward in weather world. Let's take a look at that right now. Um, uh, I was looking at, uh, let's just figure out, here's where Comanche is right now. So picture that in your mind. I can't remember how to save that location right now, but right there. But look at, there's uh, I have the convection or the rain accumulation there. And we've got convergence, don't we? With that big north, northeast wind and then the change and the weather to the southerly that's coming that we've been forecasting for a long time now. So what does that mean in wind forecast world? Well, <coughs> it means that if, where was Comanche? Somewhere around here. They're coming down to round this lighthouse right here, and they are about to hit the wall. And no matter what model you take, this convergence line is going to appear and we can um they'll they'll go from running or reaching to beating and whether that'll happen that's 8 a.m so that's a long time they'll they'll probably but it looks like they'll hit this before the uh the island in fact looking at the radar for a second here same thing let's uh again this was where comanche was and Remember, they're out here. Somewhere in here, the cell is moving down like this, but it's probably rising air formed by this convergence that's happening with the two winds and the weather systems pushing pushing against each other. So I think, you know, if you're going to watch the tracker for the next hour or so, it would be pretty interesting to see... Uh, how how things go because uh we have uh you know that's uh 1440 let's let's do another ping right now uh -huh. and uh we see that they're about uh oh 10 miles apart, but in fact, I've been experimenting a little bit. Let, let me just uh, update my boat ID here. Boom, there they are now. Here they come in and they are 12.3 and 10.3. So they could very well be in the Southwest wind right now. I think this is the GFS file, but they've, They've gone through the transition or going through the transition and heading onto a beat. Now, for them, the southwest wind doesn't pose much of a problem. They just got to get around the corner on Port Tack and then reach in. But how about for these guys here? All these boats just move forward in time. Um, strong south wind. This is 12 hours from now. And that's going to wreck havoc with the predicted, <coughs> corrected times of all the boats further back. But for the big boats, a pretty nice race once they got out of that first little tricky bit leaving Sydney Harbor. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. We'll keep our eye on the race, but it's almost over for the big boats. It looks like the mini maxis uh, will correct out on them. And, but I'm not putting any bets at all on the little boats. I think that they've got their work come out for them, the 52s on down the line. But remains to be seen. Thanks for watching. Bye.